We are gathered together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Ian and Allie. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. This day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and your friends. It is our hope that your fulfillment and joy in each other will increase with each passing year. May the promise you make to one another today be lived out to the end of your lives. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys, but today is the day it all begins. I can remember being little girls and dreaming up our weddings. We thought we wanted crazy ball gown dresses, crazy updos, and we thought we'd be marrying Jesse McCartney or Justin Bieber. And that all sounded great 15 years ago, but I'm really glad all of those things have changed. I think that anyone who knows you knows that you and Ian were meant to be together and you complement each other so well. You were truly made to be a wife, and I know that you'll be the absolute best. And I'm thankful to have had you as my best friend my whole life, and I'm more thankful to be able to watch you become a wife and be loved by Ian for the rest of your life. You're one of the most beautiful people I know inside and out, and you're absolutely radiant, and I love you, and I'm so thankful for you. And Ian, not Ian, that's another one. He's always been a gentleman. He's always been a... A yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, can I help you? He's, he's done everything. And to my special daughter, I, uh, she's never ceased to amaze me at everything she's done. Um, she's been perfect, and I've never had to worry about her. She, uh, beautiful. The only, the only thing I've ever had to worry about is the fact that she is beautiful. <laughs> Baby, I love you. I could stand up here all night long and tell stories about you. But I never know when to stop. Ian, let me start off by saying that I love you more than anything in this world. You're my soulmate, my number one fan, and my very best friend. I feel so blessed that God put you and I on this earth at the same time to cross our paths. Marrying you is something that I have been dreaming of since the day we met seven years ago. But who could have guessed that we would be so sure about someone at only 15 years old, yet here we are. Falling in love with you is so easy. You have the kindest heart and most genuine soul. I pray that as the years pass and as we grow old, you will always see how much I love you. I hope that I will always be your rock as you are mine, and that you will continue to look at me with the same hope and love in your eyes that you always have. You are a blessing to me, Ian Prosser. I love you beyond the moon and stars, and I'm so ready to take on this adventure with you as your wife. See you soon. XOXO. All my Mrs. Prosser. Holy smoke. <laughs> Beautiful. Take Allie to be your lawful wedded wife. 
to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for better or worse, for richer or poor, keeping yourself into her for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Allie, take Ian to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, keeping yourself into him for as long as you both shall live? I do. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a pledge to you that I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. <laughs> and now Allie places ring on your finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you. With the pledge to love you. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. And forever. Having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love and honor, to cherish one another in the presence of this gathering. And by the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of this state, it is my honor now to pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when you're, when you're a dad and you got a daughter, you kind of, okay, I'm going to try to fix this. And when a boy used to come over for you, I thought the best thing to do was maybe get my guns out and clean them. You know, and while I was cleaning my guns, I'd tell them, you know, how much I love my daughter and I'd die for my daughter. And most of them just kind of, you know, look at you like that and all. Well, Ian comes over, he wants to help me clean my gun. <laughs> I'm saying, all right, well, he might be a little bit different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>